Yeah, it's obviously pretty exciting. I think showdowns are obviously the biggest match probably in South Australia uh, every year, so it's pretty amazing just to win uh, you know, the South Australian game footy where it's rivals clashing heads, so it's a pretty exciting feeling. Um, you know, amazing to just pull on the jumpers as well, the prison bars. So we're looking forward to getting into next week, but we'll, uh, we're loving it for now. Yeah, look, I think you could probably tell out there on the ground. I was running around with a smile on my face, and uh, it was pretty amazing just being out there, part of a big, you know, big win and a great club with a massive history that goes all the way back to 1870. It's uh, a pre you know, amazing that I got to be part of that, and I'm pr very privileged to have that happen to me. So um, you know, I was running around with a smile on my face. Uh, I was lucky enough to get onto a couple of goals, and I thought that was you know, pretty exciting, and I just enjoyed my time out there. Yeah, so I think it really goes back to just Ken backing us um, right from the start. We've been really lucky in terms of having Ken as our coach and he just backs us 100% right from the very start. Even when we first got drafted, he said to, to all of us, uh, just to believe in ourselves and back ourselves. And I think that's the main thing and it gives us the confidence to go out there every single week and, and know that we can play with our natural flair and, and he'll back us no matter what. You know, obviously last year there's some times where, you know, myself personally get in do something the, probably the wrong thing, you know, celebrating at the wrong time, etc. And that's just part of the learning curve. Whereas Ken's always there to back us up. You know, he'll make sure that we, you know, try and make the right decision at all times. But he just allows us to, to go out there, as I said before, play out with our natural flair, and that just allows us to be, you know, the kind of players that we want to be, and obviously show our emotion out in the field. Yeah, I think we've been very, very lucky in terms of having Kenton as, as our coach and being drafted to the Port Adelaide Football Club. I think they've been very embracing of what we bring as a team and what we bring as individual players. I think we've been very lucky to, to have that. So. I think it gives us the confidence just to be whoever we want to be out in the ground and just to play with our own natural... Yeah, as I said again, I'm using it the same thing over and over, but our natural flair and our natural way that we play footy, Ken doesn't want to change too much about what we actually do with our ball and the way we want to play. Uh, you know, we both, all three of us are quite young, fast, um, we're good, good skills, etc. And we're very good, you know, with, with, in terms of up and down the ground and great midfield um, capabilities. So Ken wanted to make sure that he maximised that, I think, and given us just the licence to, to do that. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think it's complimentary. It's obviously with the top three picks in the 2018 draft. It's it's quite an honour to be to be uh, taken that high, and then obviously always spoken in the same sentence uh, as each other. But you know, it's obviously you do probably get asked a lot of questions about the three of us. But I think that's just the nature of what it is. I think it's quite exciting, and you know, people want to know what what you think of it, and what, you know, what the kind of behind the scenes nature and stuff of it is. So you know, that's just what happens. Are you guys friends? Yeah, we we are pretty close friends, and. It's always good. I think going out to the hub, I think it's going to you know, make the friendship even better. Um, there's going to be some very good times where we're going to be spending a lot of time together. I think it's 16, 17 days up there in Gold Coast. So there'll be some pretty good times where we can um, you know, even develop that relationship further. But we are good mates off the field. Uh, and you know, hopefully we just keep continuing to develop that over the years. Oh, I, I, I'm probably going to take my surfboard. I'm not, the, not a great surfer, but I do enjoy it. Uh, I'm terrible at golf, so I won't be taking any golf clubs. Um, but I will probably take a surfboard up there as well. But I think I might take a couple of books as well, just to maybe just get a couple of them done, I think, as well. What I read? Um, reading Bob Murphy's book at the minute, um, as well as one of Jordan B. Peterson's 12, uh, 12 Lessons for Life, I think, as well. So, yeah. Do you think that's so <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, look, I think the, the first goal is always nicest because it, it probably a little bit rattled, I think, early. Uh, I didn't really get my hands on the ball in the first quarter. I felt a little bit nervous coming in, but after that first one, it kind of settles your nerves a bit. So I'm probably happiest about that first one. But I think for me, as a winger, it, it really shows kind of 
what, what, we're, what our team's going to be playing like. And I think it gives a bit of a future glimpse. You know, we're going to be very offensive. We're going to try and get as much score on the board as we can because that's obviously how you win games. So if we can get up to 100 points a game around about that every time, we've got a really good chance to win. So if that means that I'm going to hit the scoreboard and you know, other mids and wingers and stuff are going to be hitting the scoreboard, then that's what we're going to try and do. Yeah, it was, it's been kind of a massive focus for us this year. We obviously want to try and convert our score more. And I think the easiest way to kind of do that sometimes, kicking them from the goal square, making it very easy for yourself. Um, but yeah, we want to try and make sure that we have a, you know, a really good chance of converting our score because in the years prior to, to what we've had, we've, we haven't been the ba uh, best team in terms of converting score. Um, and so that's you know, been a mass massive focus for us in the off season and pre season of just making sure that we get our chances when we're in front of goal and actually converting. So. Um, you know, by having shots and goal squares makes it a lot easier to, to, to a lot harder to miss. You saw the bow and arrow early. Did you put it away, or um, did I miss a couple after that? Oh, I think I used it the, in the third goal. I think. I think. Yeah, I think it came out in the third goal. If I can remember off the top of my head. Yeah. How many did that? <laughs> I don't. Oh. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. It might. It all depends on the situation, I think. I'm not really sure. I can't give you a definitive answer right now. Uh, but if I do kick five goals, I don't know what's going to happen. So. Do <laughs> you have a celebration plans for, for the Triple A? Oh, I haven't got anything for you at the minute, but I could come up with something off the top, top of my head, maybe. I'm not sure. As, as I said, it all depends on the moment. But, yeah. What did you make of the shorter quarters? Oh. Yeah, Sorry. The shorter quarters that you're playing, are you, do you support those long quarters? I think it's, it, it plays into kind of our strengths. We're a really fast and explosive team. I think um, we're, able to, we're able to use that to our advantage, I think. But um, it's obviously not in my position to kind of comment, you know, what the AFL should do for the future. But I think it, it kind of works for the minute for our team. So, yeah. Mitch is out on track, mate. How's he? Is that there, so with my case? Sorry. Oh, Mitch, yeah, yeah, Mitch is looking really good. Um, he's just had a little bit of a calf issue in the last... Uh, last week or so, he probably almost could have played on the weekend, but I think we just try to take the take the um, little bit of caution. Which is just with his young career, we just want to make sure that he's uh, he's good to go. But yeah, he's obviously ripping good talent, and we're looking forward to seeing what he brings in the next next coming weeks. I know, <laughs> and I'm a, I'm only a year older than him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, so I've had a, a little bit of a hamstring, hamstring strain um, in the last couple of weeks. I think I did it the first day back at training. So it was a little bit disappointing and upsetting um, with your first session back, you know, having that kind of niggle. But I was able to get through and uh, do my rehab, you know, as well as I could. And I've been able to get myself ready to play for that showdown. That was my, that was my goal. So I was able to get there in time, which is good. Would I put Goalie this week? Look, it's, it's a tough, tough question, to be honest. I think it's all, it all depends on the, on the coaches, I think. If, he, if Ollie's AFL fit, I know he's in our best 22. He's an amazing player, um, and I think he's, you know, he's, part, he's our vice captain. He's going to be a really good player, obviously, for the next couple of years in the AFL. So I dare say, um, well, my, my personal view, he's in our best 22. So if he's AFL fit, he's in, but it's not up to me. So. Um, I think I'm happy kind of wherever I, wherever I am as long as I'm playing in the team. I think um, personally I, I'm happy at the win on the wing. I think I understand my role. Uh, I know what I have to bring each week and I know, what, I know what Ken and the other coaches want me to do. And I think my players, the players out there also know what I bring each week. So at the minute I'm happy on the wing. But in terms of what, I've future, what the future holds for me, I'll probably like to play as a mid um, and maybe even a little bit forward. But... Um, I just, at the minute, I understand my wing role and I'm very happy out there at the minute. It just allows me to get a game every week, so, yeah. After the game on Saturday, can you give them some reaction for special praise? Can you tell us what he means to your team, what's he like around the league? Yeah, Trent, he's, a, he's an amazing ca character. He's come in, um, he's had a couple of rough years where he wasn't really getting much of a gig but he's worked incredibly hard in the last 18 to 24 months and he's come out in the park and he's been playing some terrific footy. Uh, he's a booming kick, obviously you've seen many highlights of him kicking goals from outside 60 or 50, wherever it is but he's also an amazing defender one on one and he allows us to really get aggressive um, for both the wingers and mids but also our defenders. He plays really aggressive type of footy 
um, and beats his uh, opponent one on one, and that allows many players to, to get off there and, and get the crumbs. So, for Trent, he's a massive part of our, our defence, and you know we can't thank him enough, really. But hopefully, we, he just keeps playing to that brand that he has. Um, but I'm sure he will. He's been terrific so far.